As, as far as being an artist, I think it was the advice that I was told, if you can do anything else, do it. And if, if that's all you can do, then pursue that. My name is Jason Brammer. This is Chicago, Illinois. This is my studio in Humboldt Park. I started painting. I started selling paintings about 10 years ago. And then as I was selling more paintings, it just it grew. And then I started developing, spending more time on the artwork. Depending on, on what I'm approaching, I typically start a piece and I do, I cut out things out of wood and assemble objects together. And it's, it's an assemblage process. And once it's assembled, then I do the plastering. I do a lot of antiquing. I add antique parts to it. I just developed that and I started getting more interested in the objects and how they related to the painting. By incorporating the antiques into the work, I feel like it adds an element of antiquity to the object. And so the object, it uh, becomes less of a painting and more of an object from a different era. Predominantly the turn of the century, like the early 1900s is what I was going for in an industrial revolution time when um, things are, are mechanized or hand cranked or they're, they're these machines that are functioning. The beginning shape is usually, I commit to that shape and so I cut out the pattern. So once I cut the shape, then it's like, that's, that's basically the shape, but the painting um, can vary. I start it and then you get ideas uh, things start to accrue in your mind and you see it and it develops as you're building it. It gets its own energy then it's its its own thing. I, I try to get a piece of artwork started and uh, this process of staying out of the way so I try not to force my own agenda on the piece. You look at the clock and you're like, oh my gosh, it's like five o'clock already. You know, you're just like, you can't believe that it's so late. And so getting lost in the work to me is, is my favorite part. One of the things with a lot of my paintings is that things are emerging from the canvas onto the walls and opening up. And what I like to do is to fool people's eye. It's a, a term called trompe l'oeil in French term and it's, it means to fool the eye. So you're, you're looking at something and you're not sure what's real and what's painted. So my goal in a lot of the stuff that I'm doing is like if people from a distance, if you can't tell what's real and painted, that to me is a success. The discipline of it is seeing it to fruition, of, of doing the actual piece and going through and doing the work. You know, just like, and like seeing it out, you know, making it happen. The hardest part about being the artist is everything but painting the pictures. Like that's the easiest part. So like creating the artwork is is the easiest part. Everything else around that, um, I would say, is harder.